I was gonna say like if if this is all true, if it is, and it all ties together and it's all it it is what it is, mm-hmm. like that's gotta be a heavy load to carry around with you. I mean, I think about like I think, you know, we're fucked on our current path because of global warming and because of the pollution that we're cranking out, especially in the ocean. And that weighs on me if I start thinking about it for too long. Or I watched that Sea Spiracy you did. documentary okay. yeah, yeah, on I Netflix. And I was like... I haven't seen that. That fucked me up for like three days. I was like, <laughs> I, we're just like, what are we doing to the planet? And so I could only imagine that like, mm. if this is as concrete as that is or turns out to be if it if but the wasn't that a fall. spin though that was like i can't believe that was actually on facebook or not facebook but um netflix. on netflix to actually put that truth out there like huh what was this about uh, the pollution the, the, in the ocean oh just how much there is yeah and, and, yeah, and how most of it's from fishing which i had like no idea it's like not an plastic somewhere yeah. in the ocean right <laughs> like 90 something percent is all like fishing nets and yeah. fishing gear how did this show get on there because it gets you to question shall i even eat fish anymore because <laughs> i'm not going to support the fishing industry with my dollars because of all the damage they've done to the earth by their fishing nets and their... they're pulling out like millions of fish a day yeah it's insane. a day like it's insane. Yeah. what is that yeah. i mean could you imagine if we just like and lost killing... a million people a day what that would look well, like can you imagine like how many like they used to whale so much they too. still do well, not here right no. but in japan well in northern locations yes but yeah. it's all like you know it's, it's more regulated there but no nothing's regulated out on the open ocean yeah. when they're doing this massive amount of like it's so crazy they're torching the ocean with it's just not, there's no way it's sustainable. I mean, we're just yeah. pulling so much out and just dumping trash in. And so it's... what do you think the solution is for global warming? What's your ideas? Well, I think I think we're definitely going to get to a place where we're not using fossil fuels. I think the electric cars are a great first step. I think hydrogen cars would be a good step too. Um what do you think about the energy that it takes to produce a battery and the waste that goes into that? That's a problem, right? right. That, I haven't done enough research, but I've heard that, you know, creating a battery for an electric car is... It's like is, more waste than having yeah, a it's worse. car. Yeah. But that's why I said those hydrogen cars, that seems like that would yeah, be a great investment. Yeah, hydrogen might be an idea. There's just not... The foundation just isn't there yet. Yeah. Not like it is with like Tesla superchargers everywhere. Well, I when we hey. become more informed with, um, you know disclosure of aliens and we have had withheld technologies for gener like so many decades we have had so many things that would be better for our planet that have been prevented so we have technologies they're available well hemp plastic no i mean there's there's like hemp plastic yeah exactly yeah that would that would have been such an easy switch to just and they just what hemp is now legal or something within the last year or something i think so, trump legalized it it's all regulated but, for a reason it's yeah. all like we're supposed to destroy ourselves for a reason until we get to the point oh, sorry, where we're yeah. becoming more informed becoming more like no like that's not right and be- becoming more mindful of what's actually happening on our planet but that that comes with consciousness it doesn't come with believing what we're told to believe you know like i you know look into climate change and i think that's a big huge um script as well there's a lot of science that's promoted it's all pure science but really i don't think it is so there's a whole lot to look into there it's, and it's another can of worms. So as far as global warming, what do you think about the natural processes of the earth cooling and warming? Like that has something to do well, with yeah, it. Yeah, I think that definitely plays into it. But I think I think it's easy to see that humans definitely have an effect. Like no yeah. other species I mean, would be able to dominate at the levels that we do. And it's just not sustainable. I mean, No, humans are definitely... Um, corrupting the planet on a very big scale. Yeah. That's whether happening. It's, whether it's what's happening, you know, with the harvesting of, like, these palm trees for oils and, and shit. Like, we're decimating Yeah, I mean, we're... These ecosystems. Exactly. That's, I that's totally going to have a real that. effect. Yeah. I, I definitely think we have problems as far as we're destroying the Earth. Um, I don't have, like, the temperature rise. Like, I don't know how we really stop that, though, because I don't know... 
Well, yeah, I say global warming is kind of a, as a catch-all. Right. You know what I mean? I think the most yeah. tangible thing you can go and look at is if you go from here down to L.A., like, you can see the smog like right. it's a fog barrier. Mm-hmm. Right. And they say that living in a big city like that takes 10 years off your life. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> Which how, Wouldn't surprise me, I how, guess. Yeah. yeah, you're just breathing in all this. Yeah. Toxicity. Break dust. You, all these freaking fumes. Mm-hmm. All this shit that's just we're pumping yeah. in the air that's getting cycled back into our body. Mm-hmm. We're like a human filter for this trash. Yeah. Um, that's true. Yeah. I mean, there's also the chemicals <coughs> you have to look at. There's like dimming of the sun. There's there's all sorts of reasons why um, they want to make it appear like there is a huge like... Well, what is dimming? I, I know a little bit about chemtrails, but what is dimming of the sun? Yeah, that was proposed by, I want to say Gates. Um, oh, that was to, to like protect the ozone layer, wasn't it? <sighs> Yeah. Um, yeah. And how we should be out of the sun because the sun's harmful. Well, and it's the opposite, right? We all we should literally not put sunscreen on except for if we're on extended amount of time and have it be yeah, organic say, you and make your own. You've never had a sunburn if you don't go without Make your own. Make your own sunscreen is all I have to say. You know, like that's a fun recipe. You can find recipes and get it off Amazon, like ingredients, very easy. And because they're laden with chemicals and that's what's causing the skin cancer. It's not actually... <clears throat> it's not actually the sun itself. I don't, because we have downloads. We have like vitamin D comes from the sun. If we're blocking sunlight from our body, that's it's not good. Not good. Right. So right. it's just, it's, there's so much brainwashing that's not helpful to the human. Um, if we listen to hundred percent pure mainstream, because we're told to do things that are harmful. We're told to believe things that are harmful and um, of which is controlled narrative right like in, in the mo- oh anyway so going back to um dimming of the sun that is just like another like thing like oh we have to protect the ozone right and and really it's just because it wants to reduce the actual sun rays coming down upon us the humans who actually benefit we can't live without the sun the sun is vital to our operation system you know not to mention all the food and plants oh of course I mean, the food yeah. and plants yeah like so it's it's just another ad- aspect of the 2030 plan. Yeah. Yeah, you should just read read in that just after. Just the, I'll have to, sh- I'll have to check it out now just to... It's interesting. Just to see. Yeah. 